Bernard Ouma Omondi aka Bernard alikuwa mwanafunzi katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi mwaka 1998 akisomea taaluma ya uhandisi Sawia na wanafunzi wengine Bernard alijibidiisha na kuzingatia elimu yake yeye alikuwa akitaka kuwa mhandisi mkuu funde tu baada ya kumaliza elimu yake elimu ya miaka mitano Ndoto yake ilianza kufifia pale alipogeuka na kuwa mmoja miongoni mwa genge la majambazi lililokuwa likiwahangaisha raia jijini Nairobi Genge lililokuwa likipora na kisha baadaye kuficha silaha zake katika mabweni ya chuo hicho jambo ambalo liliwakanganya maafisa wa polisi Bernard Ouma alijipata kupewa kazi na vijana wanne vijana waliokuwa wakiishi maisha ya juu juu chuoni vijana walioonekana kama waliotoka kwa familia ya matajiri pasi na kujua ni yapi ya tamkumba vijana hao walifanya ukuruba na Bernard kiasi cha kumvuti ya kujiunga nao na kuwafanyia kazi waliohitaja kama kazi mboga kazi ya kuhifadhi silaha katika chumba chake kwa malipo nakumbuka nilikuwa mwaka wangu wa tatu katika chuo kikuu ambapo nilipoaprochiwa na mwanafunzi mmoja okay alikuwa ni, alikuwa ni mwanafunzi ambaye tulikuwa naye katika darasa moja lakini kwa bahati mbaya akaweza kuachiwa shule so aliponi approach akaniambia vile siku hizo mambo yake iko iko poa na pia mimi kama single mind angependa pia mimi kama rafiki yake mambo yangu ikuwe poa so he approached me na akaniambia zile shughuli ambazo ufanya na angependa kunihusisha nazo ingawa jamii alikuwa akiniambia kwamba sitakuwa nikienda katika wizi wa mabavu kwa sababu walikuwa kijisha na mambo ya wizi wa mabavu so mimi aliniambia ile kazi ambayo naweza kuwa nikifanya ni kuwekea hizo bunduki kwenye hostel kisha wakirudi kutoka katika hizo walifu zao wanakuja wanipatia kitu kidogo na tulikuwa tumekubaliana kwamba katika kila round wakikuja ningeweza kupata hela zangu kama between 10,000 and 20,000 per day. So mimi kama mwanafunzi niliona nilishikwa na tamani kwa na hiyo pesa ni mingi sana. And the person niliweza kuingilia walifu bila ku, kuja, bila kujua mbele yale ambayo angeweza kunitokea. Na kwa vile hakuwa na pesa za kutosha alikubali kuwasaidia kuficha silaha hizo. Kwani kwa wakati huo alikuwa akibahatisha kujipa hela kuuza viatu vikuku katika soko maarufu la Gikomba ili kujikimu huku akizidi kupokea malipo yake polisi nao walikabiliwa na changamoto ya kukabiliana na kizazi kipya cha wahalifu ambacho kilikuwa kikikwepa mitego yote ya polisi kila kukicha wasilokuwa wakijua ni kwamba genge hilo la majambazi lilikuwa ni genge la wanafunzi na ambalo lilizidi kuwachezesha shere polisi kwa kuzidisha mashambulizi zaidi pamoja na wizi wa mabavu kituo cha polisi cha Central kilianza kurekodi idadi kubwa ya visa vya uhalifu hatua hii iliwalazimu wakuu wa polisi kuanzisha kitengo maalum cha makachero wa kukabiliana na visa hivyo zilikuwa nakumbuka kulikuwa na AK47 moja, kulikuwa na G3 rifle moja, then kulikuwa na pistol sita. Mwaka wa 2003 kitengo hicho cha polisi baada ya upekuzi wa hapa na pale kiliweza kupata fununu kuwa genge walilokuwa wakisaka kwa udi na uvumba lilikuwa ni genge la wanafunzi wa chuo kikuu cha Nairobi bila kupoteza wakati barabara zote zilielekea katika chumba cha malazi cha mamlaka kwa 
haraka polisi walizingira bweni hili na kuanza kupekua kila sehemu mkuu akiwasaka vijana hao Hapa polisi walifanya kosa kosa la kuvamia kwa haraka pasi na kutambua wahusika wakuu Achana pande huko niangalie huko Angalia pande ni kutoze Hapo kwa rumi yangu wakanipata lakini uzuri upande wangu nilikuwa nimeweza kufunga na padlock so walipokuja kitu wa kwanza waliuliza ni Ben yuko wapi tumaambia kwamba uko wake kuna bunduki mimi nikaweza kuingiza kwa rumi yangu walipiga search hakuna kitu ambacho walipata walipo kidogo ilipata hiyo wakati nilikuwa nikivuta sigara nilikuwa na wile uraibu wa kuvuta sigara nikatoa sigara moja kwa mfuko kwenda kutia moto ikakuwa kiberiti sioni nikaomba askari mmoja kiberiti ambaye alikuwa pale kwa mlango pia so aliponipatia kiberiti nilipowasha ile sigara hapo ndipo niliweza kupata nafasi ya kuchomoka nje ya hall na nikaenda kabisa kisha nikarudi usiku wa manane nikahamisha zile bunduki kutoka kwa chumba changu nikazipeleka kwa chumba kingine mali ambapo ziliweza kushikwa the following day asubuhi hilo la polisi lilimfanya Bernard kupata mwanya wa kuchomoka Officers managed to arrest seven suspects and making a massive recovery of eight firearms suspect who occupies that uh, or that room still at large Magazetini jina la Bernard liligonga vichwa vya habari hukumu sako mkali ukianzishwa dhidi yake kote nchini moja kwa moja nikiwa na rafiki yangu fulani ambaye pia tulikuwa naye katika darasa moja tuliweza kusafiri hadi Lodwa tukafika Lodwa tuko na bado Lodwa ni kama tuko karibu sana tukapanda gari tena hadi Lokichogyo so Lod tukiwa Lokichogyo ndio niweza kuona story yangu kwenye gazeti. So nikaingiwa na wasiwasi, nikaona nirudi kwa sababu nikiwa nikichogwa singeza ku cross kwenda Sudan. Hiyo wakati kulikuwa na vita vile vya jeshi la Garang. So niliweza ku nikaamua kurudi Kitale, niweza kuingia Uganda. Lakini kwa bahati mbaya tena wanawawe back to Lodwa. Gari liweza kuintercepta na fikiri polisi walikuwa information pia. So gari letu likasimamishwa tukashukishwa nikaweza kukamatwa wenzake wa nne bila ya kujua kilichokuwa kikiendelea walikodesha taksi na kuelekea chuoni polisi waliokuwa wakiwasubiri waliwafumania wote na kuwakamata they got me at a gunpoint so i could not do anything it was just a matter of surrendering 
and actually letting the law play its role. <laughs> kisha tuta keep in touch baadaye niweze kupata report yangu hiyo siku saba wako waweza kunipatia so walipotoka kumbe hata kufika mbali wakiwa kwenye parking gari lao likienda kutoka lile taxi ambalo walikuwa wamekomboa likienda kuchomoka kumbe polisi tayari walikuwa na information na ndipo sasa waliweza kushika kuintercept hiyo gari wakawashika wote the first case to eject the money being transferred to a certain constituency we took everything they said we in fact broke it while in the hostels at the university but we could not do anything just after that we shared out the money we carried in. we packed again the saves in the in the motor vehicle then we went and dumped them somewhere but kisigi no runda we know that see runda there is a road block before now they signal since they trambia tutambia one of the officers nyaji tumepita road block flani waambia waweke road block so we they'll do it yeah the inspector will be told to stop all the vehicles from passing when we have already passed they are want to tell us today we are not patrolling runda we are patrolling keleleshwa so what you do runda waumi uchunguzi wao polisi walifaulu kukomboa silaha zote haramu zilizokuwa zikitumiwa na majambazi hao Bernard aliamua kukimbilia maeneo ya lodwa mahala ambapo aliona kama chaguo bora mbali na makali ya polisi Tofauti na wahalifu wengine Bernard alipandishwa helikopta ya polisi na kusafirishwa hadi Nairobi na kujipata kushtakiwa na makosa 13 huku ile ya wizi wa mabavu na mauaji ikimtia tumbo joto. Baadaye nikashtakiwa na makesi kadhaa fines 13 nikazifanya katizo 13 mmoja iliweza kunifunga lakini nilipotuma apili apili kaniachilia so zote zilikuja kuisha mwaka wa 209 nikiwa katika kifungu katika baraza la kamiti Hatimaye alifungwa miaka sita katika jela la kamiti huku wenzake wa nne wakifungwa kifungo cha maisha gerezani Machi 19 mwaka wa 2009 Bernard Ouma Omondi aliachiliwa huru baada ya kuhudumia kifungo chake Na kwa vile mui huwa mwema chuo kikuu cha Nairobi kilimsikiza na kumpa fursa nyingine ya kujiunga na chuo hicho kukamilisha masomo na ndoto yake Kwa sasa anasomea uhandisi Mwalimu wake pamoja na wanafunzi wenza wanamuona kama mfano bora na kijana mwenye bidii licha ya kuwa na umri mkubwa.
tulikuwa na tashwishi kidogo juu atukujua kama amebadilika ama hajabadili mienendo zake lakini tulimkubalia akakuja darasani na vile tulivyoendelea na masomo tukagundua kwamba Ben alikuwa tu kama mmoja wetu uh, mpaka inafika wala ile wakati ambao una kumuoni ni kama ametushinda na miaka kumi but tunamwona kama mmoja wenu darasani Darasani Ben huwa amenyamaza nafika darasa saa za mapema ngoje mwalimu na akiwa na shida atauliza kama wengine na vile nilivyokuambia hata utashuku ya kwamba Ben ana miaka kumi zaidi ya wenzake darasani atakuwa ni kama rika moja tu rika sawa Ninge ningependa watu kama Ben wapewe nafasi waweze kuendelea na masomo kwa sababu wakibadili mienendo vile Bena amefanya basi itawasaidia zaidi kuwa na ujuzi na hata kujitegemea maishani Ben is a good inspiration to the students I would say is a reformed guy more or less uh, the whole idea is accommodating him so we have done that we have counseled him i have talked with the other students so that more or less once they see him and then they see what is happening in the papers they are not worried uh, who is this person who has come uh, within their midst so he has performed well i teach them one unit and i would say he's performing quite well when the st semester started I went to the class now that is a fourth year. I talked with them, I told them about it. I told them he's now a reformed person. So, in fact, in class you can't you can't differentiate him with uh, I mean or or peg him to anything. You can't say this guy has been a criminal, he has been onto this. Because uh, uh, the other good thing although there is a lag of 10 years, he's older than the others by about 10 years. Because he was in a stroke 98. You can imagine he joined a stroke. 2008 but then in class he just look like a, like a mentor to the other students and more or less he act as a good bridge between us in administration and the other fellow student yeah, that's what I would say about him but I would be very positive about Ben at this stage licha ya kuwa darasani Chuo cha Nairobi kimemtaka atafute bweni nje ya chuo na hii pamoja na karo ya shule imekuwa changamoto kwake. Kwa sasa anawataka waisani wamsaidie na karo ya shule aendeleze ndoto yake ya uhandisi. Nikianza kwa kuintroduce principal a uh, group that is a small group called principal kwa vijana wenzake bana dameamua kuwalipa kupitia vuguvugu walioanzisha la crime sio poa kuhubiri amani magerezani na kuwataka vijana wajue kuwa uhalifu haulipi chochote fauka na kuwataka wafahamu pia kuvunjika kwa mwiko sio mwisho wa kupika Bernard sio Bernard tena. Kwani ameislimu na sasa anafahamika kama Safe Omar. Tayari amezuru jela za Kodiaga, Kamiti, Jericho, Hola na jela ya viwandani ambapo nilipata fursa ya kuhudhuria mojawapo ya kikao chake. Mohamed Ali kala ya jeramandia la uhalifu